Hi, my name is Jason Noel with InFuel, and in this video I'm going to go over how to migrate a WordPress website that has page builder uh, within the theme. So I have uh, on this site uh, the Calius theme, uh, which actually uses the page builder to build out each one of the pages. Uh, and one of the problems with page builder is that um, it's it's serialized or systematized with the database. So uh, typically with a uh, one of the backup softwares that I use or or the plugins is back WP up or back WordPress up. So uh, the most common uh, WordPress backup plugins won't work uh, typically with page builder, which is the problem. So there's actually a different um, uh, backup or migration plugin is called migrate DB that we're going to be using to backup uh, the WordPress site. So uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate it from one domain name to another completely new domain or subdomain. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get into um, your control panel and the first thing you're going to want to do is to add on your new domain. Uh, so go ahead and just type in the domain name as well as the password. Um, go ahead and click on add domain. Keep in mind that there, when you do this within cPanel, you go to add a new domain and you point it from like GoDaddy or Network Solutions or wherever to your new hosting account here, it's going to take 24 to 48 hours for your domain name to propagate. Uh, so if you go to try to add your new domain in your URL, it's not going to necessarily come up uh, with, because it does take time uh, for, it, for everything to propagate. So. Uh, so once you add everything here, I'm not going to add that right now, but if you're adding a new, a new domain, go ahead and enter it in there. Uh, if you're adding a subdomain, uh, just go ahead and go down to the subdomain section, and then you can add your subdomain and select what, other, what domain you're wanting to add as the subdomain. Um, what I'm going to do in this example, uh, since I don't want to take time for the propagation, is I'm going to go ahead and create a new um, folder underneath the domain that's already existing. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, pick out the domain that I want and then I'm going to go ahead and add the new folder that I'm wanting in. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add JSON. So uh, so I have two completely different URLs um, for the WordPress migration. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to um, back up the current um, domain name. So for me though, the uh, the domain that I want to back up is on the same control panel account, which makes it nice. But uh, if it's not on the same control panel account for you, it's just fine. It's really easy to do as well. Uh, for you, all you need to do is just click on select all and then click on compress. You're going to, um, and, you know, you're going to select the type that you want, whether it's a zip file, which is the most common. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to change it to just test.zip and then click on compress. And this usually takes a minute, so I'll just pause it here. All right, so, uh, so this went ahead and just backed up. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can either FTP, which is what I would recommend depending on the size. Uh, this is 127 megs, but um, you can FTP in and download, which is what I would rec recommend, or you can just go ahead and click on the file and then click on download here. Uh, so that's if you're not on the same uh, cPanel. Uh, I am, so I'm going to go actually a different route. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete for my zip file. Uh, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and select everything again. And then I'm going to click on copy. Um, now, I do need to know the URL that I want to copy to. Um, so for me, it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead um, and just type it in here. And keep in mind that it does have to have a preceding forward slash and then an ending forward slash if you're, if you're gonna go this route. Uh, if you don't add the preceding forward slash, you're gonna end up with a public HTML right here then a new folder structure. Um, so I went ahead and copied everything over. So that's the first thing is copying everything over to your new location, so I have it here. The next step is gonna be to create a new database. So within your main control panel here, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the file um, manager open up there. Obviously, you can use the HTML editor for the next step that we're going to do, but um, go ahead and click on the uh, MySQL databases and then create your new database and username. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do that here. And click 
click on go back and then I'm going to add a completely new user as well. Add a really simple password and then go back and then once you've added a new database and a new user we're going to want to tie the new user so json1 is that the right one yeah uh, to the new database which is json3 and then click add i'm going to give them all privileges and then click on go back so now i've created a completely new database with a new user so i'm going to go ahead and copy the database I'm going to go back into the folder that I have, and we're going to open up um, within the new folder structure that you have on your server. It may look a little bit different, but ultimately you're going to be looking at wpconfig.php, and you're going to click on Code Editor. And we're going to, uh, within the config file, we're going to change the database name to the new one. So JSON3, and I'm going to go to JSON1 as the user and then make sure that you leave the tick marks in there here that's one thing that's common that I've seen that uh, common errors I'm going to go ahead and type in the password and click on save um, so what I've done is I've created the files I've moved the files I've updated the database within the files of the WordPress and now what I need to do is um, go back to the site and the site that I have here is a real estate website uh, that you can see is using currently page builder for the layout and everything so this is the domain name so I'm going to log into the same domain name within control panel and I would recommend using the migrate DB plugin um, this is definitely the best way to go in terms of migrating a WordPress site from one domain to another or even a subdomain um, so I've already got it installed here and it's actually underneath the tools and migrate DB menu on the left hand side uh, so we're going to select export file uh, I'm not going to do find and replace it makes a good find and replace as well if you want to do that um, I'm not going to compress it with the zip I just want to save it to my computer so what we're going to want to do is as you can see here we're going to do a find and replace for everything within the URL so I'm going to do the new URL which is uh, within my file manager so just easy for me just to copy and uh, copy and paste it in here uh, obviously without the public HTML so I have uh, the file or I'm sorry the domain that I'm going to be changing it to and then I'm going to type in the public HTML but one of the things that you want to uh, remember is the absolute URL structure uh, so I have home and then obviously the user and then the public HTML and then my the rest of my address so this does not have a trailing forward slash uh, and neither will this so I'm going to go ahead and click on export and it'll just take a second here so I'll just pause it all right so now it's nearing the very end here it'll just take another second now it'll pop up and I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it to the location that I want um, and then what we're going to do next is import the database that we just exported uh, back in control panel so we're going to go back down to the uh, PHP my admin and we're going to we're going to locate on the left hand side the database that we just created with the new user and make sure here that you that when you click on it that it you're actually in the right database you don't want to import if it's not in, import into a different database that is already existing so just keep an eye on that um, so I'm in JSON 3 which is where I'm wanting to be and then I'm going to click on import and then obviously you can click on the choose file but with uh, Google Chrome I can just drag and drop the database I just exported and then when you're ready just go ahead and click on go and it usually should just take a second all right so it has uh, completed successfully and so we're actually going to go and check out the new um, the new domain here just to make sure that everything works just fine and it does so we've created the a new database 
and a or we've migrated one database or one WordPress site, um, the files and the database to a completely new domain name uh, with um, Page Builder. So hopefully that helps.